right, survivors, welcome back to Unturned. Today is March 21st, 2017, and we are going to take a look at a very special item added in the latest update, which was 3.18.3.0, which was released a few days ago on March 17th. And you can read about it way down here. It's tucked away right there. Added picket sign to extras, bundles, items, barricades, folder. And this is a very special item that I had actually suggested to Nelson about a week or so ago, and he went ahead and added it. Unfortunately, it's not something that's going to be added to your game automatically. You have to actually get down into the files and the folders and do a manual installation. It's very simple, and I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. But before we do that, let's jump into the game, and I'll show you what this picket sign actually does. All right, guys, here we are on the Gang Z multiplayer server, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the new picket sign and demonstrate what they're useful for right here at the Chalupa enemy base. But before we do that, I think it's probably best to talk about the old signs, the signs that are actually in the game right now um, and their major flaws and what prompted me to ask Nelson to add this new picket sign. So we have an example right here. This particular sign that says, OPB, choose ghost peppers as mouthwash, so strong. <laughs> now, I didn't put that sign on my car. Someone else did. It was actually put there by one of the angry Chalupas when they raided our base and they left these signs all around on our cars as like calling cards. So now, unfortunately, I cannot remove this. You can see here that I do not have the salvage um, capability. I can't salvage it um, and I can't destroy it, not even with an ax. The only way I can destroy this sign or remove it from my car is with explosives, which clearly would put my car at risk, and I'd probably blow that up at the same time, or with high-caliber ammo, and a gun that shoots high-caliber ammo, obviously, which I do not have, and not to mention it's also very expensive. So the only other way to get this thing off is to coordinate its removal with a dirty chalupa, which means I've got to pull my car out of the garage, making it vulnerable for theft, and or being blown up um, and then coordinate with the Chalupa to come by and pull the thing off, right? So that's also not very ideal. So that's why I asked Nelson to add this new sign and let's go ahead and make one up right now and I'll show you the advantages of this thing. It's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and whip up some planks first. So it's basically just three planks, one stick to make a picket sign. We're going to make a few of these. All right, so I now have three picket signs and one old birch sign. So this is the one that we already know how to do, how to make and what they're useful for. And you can place that down in unclaimed areas and you can salvage it right up as long as you're the person that put it down. But one of the drawbacks, as I was saying, is you cannot put it down in claimed areas like this area right here. There's obviously a claim flag somewhere inside um, chirp is base and it will not allow me to put this old sign down, but check out the picket sign Hmm Awesome Bam no problem. We can put picket signs all around his base all day long if we want Not that we would want to but for demonstration purposes. There you go And if chief wants to get rid of these he can very simply with an axe Bang just a few hits with a regular old axe I don't think he's able to salvage them, but he can destroy them. The only person that can salvage them is the one that put it down or someone in that same team, but they can be very easily destroyed. And that's one of the main reasons I had asked for them, because a lot of signs get left behind at our bases when people claim raids or leave pranks and stuff like that, and it's really a pain to get rid of them. So that's why we asked for this picket sign. So I'm going to go ahead and leave Chirpa a note here. Chirpa, don't forget to clean your room. Papa Smurf. Yeah, now that he's not in my gang anymore, I can't check in on his room to make sure it's clean. And this is a quite the large base, so I imagine it is a disaster. <laughs> so there we go. We leave him a sign on the new picket sign. Very, very cool. And I think I'm going to put one here on... Well, let's put one on a vehicle that someone actually uses. Uh, look at this adorable little thing. Uh, well, we'll just put it on this yellow one for now. Again, they'll be able to whip it. They'll be able to take it down easily enough. Let's turn it around, and since they left us something about the mouthwash that we use, I'm going to leave them something similar. There we go. LCM brushes their teeth with rotten refried beans. Ba -dum -bum -tsh. Yeah, that'll teach them to put a sign on my car. Now, sadly, I still can't get this thing off until I get a chalupa to pull the darn thing off. <laughs> so maybe I'll just leave the car here for now and swim home. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe I'll do that. Or I can just steal one of theirs. I do have a, uh, I do have a steely wheelie. Hmm, Chirp is cool, huh? Oh, I don't think so. Chirp is a stinking bum. It's more like it, since he left the OPB to join these clowns. All right. Anyway, I think our work is done here. I'm not gonna leave my car here. I've got too many goodies on it. I'll just have a chalupa come and take it off uh, back at my base. So there you go. That's the picket sign, guys, and that's what it's useful for. So it's really only going to be useful on multiplayer servers. There's not much reason to make them on single player. But yeah, that's the reason I had asked Nelson to add it so that we could have an easily broken sign and one that we could put down in claimed areas. Because we get a lot of entertainment um, by leaving signs behind on this server. And where am I going? I'm going left. Now, for whatever reason, Nelson opted not to have the picket sign implemented automatically into the game. So we have to install it manually. And I'll show you guys how to do that. It's not that big of a deal. It's fairly simple. But it does require you getting into Windows and moving some folders and files around. So why don't we do that right now? Let me just park my car here in the garage. Actually, you know what? park it outside and have a chalupa come and take that sign off yeah we'll leave it right there good enough put this back on all right so yeah let's go let's go do the install right now all right guys here we are in my windows explorer on my machine and let's go ahead and install this picket sign on the client as well as the server it's the only way to get it to work properly so Nelson put it under extras, bundles, items, barricades, and it's right there, sign underscore picket. We're going to copy that, navigate back to bundles and items, barricades, and then just drop it in here. Right click somewhere in white space and hit paste to make sure that folder goes here in the main uh, under barricades and not inside of another folder. You should see it right here between sign metal and sign pine. Now let's go back to unturned, go back to extras, and we're gonna grab, go to bundles, and we're gonna grab this entire folder here, items, copy it, go back to unturned, and to servers, my land server, bundles, and then drop the whole thing in here. Now yours might look different than this. You might not have a folder that says land so server, and you might even have a items under there depending on what you've already installed in your server but for me I do not so I have to install the whole thing like so and now when I run that server which is right here I will have picket signs available to me and that's all there is to it guys very simple in fact if you don't have a server you don't want to install it on a server then you don't even have to do that second part just put it in bundles and that's it and then you're done so there you go. All right, guys, I got to run. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.